What's up guys? This is my uh, recap video for the 2015 Mr. Olympia contest. Um, I'll go through the list of each athlete and talk about each one of them a little bit. And then I'll talk about the top six guys in the 212 because I didn't get a chance to see all of them because I didn't see the prejudging. I only saw the finals of it. So, starting with the Open, um, a lot of guys play 16th. Uh, first one I'll talk about is uh, Mo Banute. He is a very vascular, vascular guy. Um, this showing was not his best. We've seen him better before. He was not as conditioned and as dry as we've seen him before. But nonetheless, he is a good bodybuilder. Next is Brad Rowe, who is, he's a hard worker, man. He tore his quad like three months ago, four months ago, something like that. And he's been maybe less than that. And he's still been training, competing, and he wanted to be on the stage bad. And he deserved it. But he's still got a little bit more size to pack on before he's competitive to move up closer to the top 10 of the lineup. But he is a great aesthetic bodybuilder. I like his physique. He's got all the potential in the world, I think. Uh, next guy, another 16th place, is, um, I apologize if I say this wrong, Abdelaziz Jalali. He looks good. Um, he qualified by winning the Amateur Olympia, so I don't know if he was quite ready yet for the real Olympia. Um, he looked good, I felt, but he was a little bit not as conditioned as he should have been, and he did have a little bit of a gut on him. Uh, next, another 16th place, John De La Rosa. Um, John's a good guy, he's a hard worker. I'm personally not the biggest fan of his physique. I feel like he's a little bit smaller and doesn't have a lot of a lot of separation as some of these other guys. But he is a good bodybuilder and he does well in shows. But unfortunately at this show, he was not as conditioned as he's been before. Again, that was an issue. Uh, Fred Smalls, another 16th place guy. Again, not as conditioned as he should have been. Um, great bodybuilder though. Um, really good poser. And I was a little bit upset I didn't get to see his posing routine because they only let the top 15 do posing routines, actually. So, next up, 16th place again, Robert Piotrkowicz. Good bodybuilder. Um, not quite as big as he needs to be to be more competitive and move up the lineup. Was not as conditioned as he should have been. I felt a um, little bit of stomach distension and then... 16th place again, Brandon Curry. Again, not as conditioned as he should have been, but he's got all the potential in the world. Same thing with Steve Kukula, who plays 16th also. All the potential in the world, all the lines, all the size, symmetry, everything. Muscle bellies, everything. Just was not conditioned again. And 15th place, Johnny Jackson. He is, his upper body can... He can fight with almost anybody. He can stay next to almost anybody, upper body wise. But those legs, man, those legs just, they're not quite where they need to be. His legs aren't horrible, but they're not up to par with his upper body. And he could be a lot higher in the lineup if his legs did match his upper body. Uh, 14th place, Ronnie Rockle. Um, I was impressed with him. He was pretty conditioned for being diabetic. That was really impressive to me when I heard that announced. He was impressive to me. He was really vascular. But again, he's an older guy, I think, and a little bit of stomach distension, I felt like. Next, Dallas McCarver, 13th place. This guy impressed the hell out of me. 24 years old, just won his first pro show, and he was shredded, and he was huge, and he impressed the hell out of me. He was one of my biggest surprises of the whole weekend. He really killed it. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with, and he's going to be moving up the lineup in the next few years. He will be a threat. Next, 12th place, Max Charles. Um, again, I feel like he's been sharper before. Uh, legs are not quite as big as they need to be yet. Upper body is huge, man. Another guy like Johnny Jackson, huge upper body. Um, huge everything. But the legs need to come up a little bit and needs to be a little bit sharper. But he looked good. Uh, 11th place, Juan Morel. I had him higher, but... He was a little bit flat Friday night, and I feel like he was a little bit watery. He could have been a little drier. Could have moved up a couple places if he was a little bit drier. But Juan Morel, nonetheless, a great bodybuilder. Tenth place, Essa Obeyed. He impressed the hell out of me, too. Um, 
Vascular as heck, huge. He only did an eight week prep prep for the Olympia, and he looked good. He looked really good. I felt like because I remember a year before last, he was sixteenth, and now he's moved up to tenth. Uh, really good bodybuilder. Ninth, Victor Martinez. Um, I don't feel like this was such a good showing for him. He's getting a little bit older. The stomach's starting to grow a little bit. Legs are starting to shrink. But still one of the best of all time. I feel like he's a legend. And I still feel like he deserves to be on that Olympia stage. He's still one of the best. But he has had so many obstacles in his life, man. This guy never gets a break. And I feel bad. But, you know, sometimes good people don't always get breaks. But Victor Martinez, nonetheless, is a legend. Eighth place, William Bonac. I am more than happy to see him move way up the lineup. This guy is insane. He is one of my favorite bodybuilders now. His He has round everything, thick, huge, full, condition, everything. He is going to be moving up in years to come, and he will be a threat. He, looks, he looked phenomenal. Seventh place, Rolly Winkler. He moved up again. Really impressed me. Gut wasn't quite where it should be yet. He still had a little bit of dissension, I felt like. But he was a lot more conditioned, and he looked good. Sixth place, Branch Warren. You can never count this guy out of anything, man. Branch Warren always brings it. Branch Warren is always shredded. Fifth place, Big Ramy. Um, I think he was a lot more conditioned at the Arnold Classic Brazil that he won. Um, I feel he definitely tried to come in too big for this show. He was like 315, when in reality he should be like 300, maybe even 295, 290 in that range if he was dry enough. But still, nonetheless, Big Ramy's size is going to get him up there. Uh, Dennis Wolf, fourth. I did not agree with this placing at all. I had Dennis Wolf in third, maybe even second. Dennis Wolf was probably the most shredded guy out of all these guys. Dennis Wolf brought it. I really liked how he came in. He really was good. Third place, Sean Roden. I didn't agree with Sean Roden taking third. I thought he should have been fourth. I thought Dennis Wolf should have beat him. Dennis or Sean Roden always looks good, always aesthetic. But this year he was a little bit smoother than he's been in the past, and he had a little bit of stomach distension. Uh, Dexter Jackson, second place. He really showed up. He is like 45, 46 years old, and he is just as sharp as when he was 10 years ago. And it's insane. He always brings it. And seeing him and Phil Heath battle for that top spot, that was awesome. You know, seeing two Mr. Olympias really going head to head, that was awesome. You know, they fought it out to the end, and Phil Heath was a great, gracious champion to him in first place, obviously. I know he was really happy about first place. Phil was. And I'm happy about it. You know, I'm a big Phil fan. Um, <coughs> excuse me. One thing I liked about Phil this year was how when he came on stage is he pointed to his gut like this. <laughs> and he was like, where is it? It's not here. But he was a lot better this year than he was last year. It wasn't quite a mix of 2011, 2013 like he said he was. But he was definitely improved and he was definitely a worthy champion. Definitely got that midsection in check, man. He really, I almost feel like his abs were better this year than they were in 2011. And if not, then it was close. But that's just my opinion. I feel like they were close. So that's all the guys in the open division. Top six in the 212. Uh, sixth place, my boy Guy Sister Nino. I'm proud as hell of him. This is, I believe it's his highest place here in the Olympia. Um, he really looked good, and he really brought it. He works hard. He works harder than anybody. You know, he, he, he earned it, and he'll be moving up in years to come. He's not done yet. He's still going hard, and he's only going up from here, man. Uh, fifth place, Eduardo Correa. I did not feel like Eduardo was as sharp as we've seen him before. Um, I still feel like that uh, that left arm is holding him back a little bit, being smaller. Fourth place, David Henry, back up in the top five again. I'm proud of David Henry. really liked what he brought. Wasn't quite as sharp as we've seen him before, but he's also not getting any younger, but he's still forced to be reckoned with in the top guys. Third place, Hidetita Yamagishi. He absolutely brought it. You know, He was shredded, aesthetic, big, everything. Great poser. Watching his routine was awesome. He is a phenomenal poser. Really great competitor. Hideki Yamagishi is in third place. Second place, Jose Raymond. He really pushed Flex, man. He really, really pushed him.
you know, he brought out the best in Flex Lewis because Flex knew he had to be the best to beat him. And Jose was also at his best. You know, this dude's grainy as hell. Veins everywhere. Absolutely phenomenal bodybuilder. Conditioned, dry, everything. Big, thick, everything. He's complete. But Flex Lewis came out on top. He's the more aesthetic guy, the more pleasing guy to look at, and he's the four-time champion. So congratulations to Flex Lewis for winning his fourth title, and a big congratulations to Phil Heath for winning his fifth title. So that's the recap of the Olympia weekend. Um, there are a few places I didn't agree with, but it is what it is. And this is the best of the best. You know, this is a Super Bowl of bodybuilding. So it was really exciting to watch like it is every year. It's always a fight, and I can't wait to watch Olympia again next year. Hope you guys have a great day, and I hope you guys enjoy the show.